We're getting dangerously close to Daylight Savings Time, and with that comes the DC McFarlane Toys DC Collector's Edition Clock King. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here and welcome back to the channel for another DC McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse DC Collector's Edition unboxing and review and today we got the regular edition of the Clock King but for all your Clock King needs and a whole lot more hit up DJC Collectibles use discount code Adolf DJC to save 8% off your entire order in the Clock King another old-timey villain back again and nobody likes clocks Nobody likes time. What is time? We say it all the time here on the channel, and that's where Clock King comes in. He's Mr. Daylight Savings Time is what he is here, but an interesting character. We'll also unbox the Platinum Edition of this one in the future on the channel, so stay tuned to that as well. Without further ado, let's see what's going on with this Clock King. And of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And we've got the Collector's Edition ribbon down the side. DC Multiverse Clock King. 22 points of articulation. 12 and up Mark Summers, of course. Off-Broadway's very own Mark Summers on the couch here today. Keeping all those kids in line. Big window box on this one as well for the Clock King. Love, he's got a, a little cape action there. I love the little cape with my clocks. That's the way it goes. Number 18 in the line for those keeping track at home. Clock King, DC Multiverse, all the usual suspects. And a little glamour shot on the back. Who is the mysterious Clock King, the man that manipulates the clocks all over? He uh, loves a good alarm clock, I can imagine, as well. Get him out of the package. See you later. A little spin on it right here. And then we're going to get this out. Oh, my gosh. Rookie. See you later. Goodbye. Rookie move right there, but I didn't get it out. Maybe. Bam. See you later. Goodbye. DC McFarland stands. Seen it before. Seen it again. Got the little silver embossed down there. So a little different for these collector's editions, of course. Soft goods cape. I love that. But there he is in the old plastic prison looking very nice here. Very interesting weapons that we're going to get to here. If we can get this Cambodian tape, oh man, some of the stickiest tape you'd ever find. The Todd McFarland Special, as it's known in many circles, including mine. Can I get this stand out without destroying the card? Looks like I did okay right there. Now we're diving in. Very strange cape on this one. I don't know if I like the way that feels. Uh, looks like we only got one twist tie, and it is around the waist of all things. So uh, we're getting it around the waist is what we're doing here. Pull that out. See you later. See you later. It's time to get the old Clock King out of the package. And see you later. Goodbye. All right. Let's get down to business. Let's start it off. And we'll start with this card and this stand. You know how I feel about these stands. But we do get the card here looking very nice. A lot going on back here. Real name, William Talkman. Okay, William Talkman. The Clock King was considered to be a third-tier villain by the authorities. Thanks to his lack of superpowers and his weird fixation with clocks. Born the aptly named William Talkman, uh, the Clock King commenced his criminal career after doctors incorrectly diagnosed that he had been struck down by a fatal disease and had only a short time to live. Determined to make every second of the rest of his life count, he executed a string of clock-themed robberies as the Clock King. And you only got one life. you got to maximize your minutes. We talk about it all the time. Maximize them. What am I doing here at this table? I need to be maximizing my minutes somewhere else. Who knows? Uh, but let's see. A string of clock-themed robberies as the Clock King. Talkman's overall goal was to steal enough money so that his disabled sister would be well cared for after his death. And you know what? I need to look in. Who is uh, the superhero that takes on the Clock King? He kind of feels... Feels like a Batman villain, but he could be somewhere else. I need to look into that, and I will. I will, of course. But here it is. He's got these little weapons here, and it's, of course, the hands of a clock, as you can imagine. So you can learn to tell time with the Clock King as well. Nice gold color on these. Got little holes in the middle, so I guess you put his hand in there. You can have these ready to go. Use these daggers as weapons. On brand for a guy named the Clock King, of course. But now we're diving into the Clock King himself. Looking absolutely wild. Looks like a kid's like pajama outfit is what this looks like to me. We're going to start with this cape. I love a good wired cape. Love a good soft goods cape. We're seeing more and more of that from Todd from 
from the couch. Uh, you guys know I was pushing that really hard about a year ago. It's nice to see the change going on with these right here. But man, this feels very stiff. I mean, you can move it around and stuff, but it feels almost like paper. It doesn't feel like a nice cloth cape here. So not the best cape, but I do appreciate it being soft goods. I do appreciate the wire in the cape as well. Moves it around very nice for the old Clock King. You can kind of do whatever you want. Use your own imagination. How you want it to be, uh, you can do that right there. So very, very nice, the wired capes. I'm always here for that. Looking at the head here, he's got a clock head. Very, very interesting. Got a kind of a lime green mask underneath the bright, bright blue clock. Uh, and then you got the hands of time on there. So very face faceless, nameless character. You're just staring at the hands of time, staring at your own mortality as every second clicks. You're getting closer and closer to death. Oh, it's a morbid tale, of course, as we know. Uh, but then you get down to the body here, and it looks like little kids' pajamas. This is what it reminds me of. Are these footy pajamas? They kind of look like they might be there, but he does got the boots on down here to match the cape and the forearm guards, and of course the hands in that green, kind of lime green color. Love the extra addition of a watch on his hands as well. He's always wanted to know what time it is, of course, and he's got one on each side. Maybe he's got one on Eastern Standard Time, one on Pacific Time. Who knows what he's doing with these clocks, of course. He also has the clock championship title belt. Of course, he is the clock king. After all, he must have the championship belt. He does got that going on there. Got the hands of time, the clock faces all over these blue pajamas. Looking very interesting. Definitely a cool, quirky character. This by no means is the Joker. No means is a clay face or any of the other big heroes and villains from the DC Universe. A deep, deep cut and even a platinum edition, which is even a deeper cut in this line. But I always appreciate things like that. I appreciate this Clock King figure. I'm going to start a shelf of goofy, like, oddball characters. Put it with Captain Carrot, things like that. Uh, definitely do like this one a whole lot, though. The blue and the green colors together pop really, really nice. Butterfly shoulders on this one, arms all the way around. Bicep cut, double-jointed pinned elbows on here. Hands back and forth, side to side. Head back and forth, side to side, of course. Hula hoop at the waist, traditional waist a little bit, pretty tight down there. Those big old clock king splits, of course, you're telling time, you're doing splits all day long. Leg does go up, double jointed, pin knees as we're used to, ankles back and forth, up and down, side to side. And then you got that McFarlane toe articulation, even on the old clock king here. Just very, very cool, very quirky character, no doubt about it. And I love these quirky DC characters. Keep these ones coming, some of these classic weird ones. And like I did say, we got another classic. Clock King to unbox on the channel, the Platinum Edition. So we will get to that eventually here. But for right now, we got the regular edition. Should start hitting stores very soon. But of course, DJC Collectibles has this available right now if you're after this bad boy. Uh, pick it up because it is fun. It is quirky. It is something different. And that's what really fuels me. You can only have so many Batmans. I like it when we get one of these every once in a while to really mix up the monotony and give us something definitely different. One of those eye-catching figures for the shelf. And that's what Pajama Clock King is to me. So what is time? Well, if anybody could tell me, it is the Clock King right here. So there it is, the Clock King DC Collector's Edition. What are your guys' thoughts, though? Is this a pickup for you? A pass? A long game? An I'm-not-so-sure game? And who the heck is his uh, heroes he fights? i got to figure that out as well. Let me know all that and much, much more in the comments down below. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Always helps when you like the videos. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the Patreon for bonus content, early content, uh, exclusive videos, all kinds of stuff on the Patreon all the time. And you truly do support this YouTube channel. You can also support the channel, PressingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and on Instagram. So for the Clock King and clocks everywhere, what is time? And I'm Kyle, and I'll see you guys all real soon.